Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. This week marks 46 years since the emergency was imposed in India by the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. On Today I Learned with the Print, we talk about President Fakhruddin Ali Ahmed who used his constitutional power as head of state to sign the proclamation of emergency on 25 June 1975. The emergency was lifted on 21 March 1977. Unfortunately, Ahmed did not live to see this day. He died of cardiac arrest in February 1977. Ahmed was the fifth president of India and the second Muslim to hold the post after President Zakir Hussain. He was born in Delhi in May 1905 and was alumnus of Catherine College of Cambridge University where he studied law. He started his practice in Lahore High Court in 1928. Ahmed had reportedly befriended Pandit Jawaharlal Lal Nehru, the former Prime Minister of India, during his time in England. It is because of Nehru's progressive ideas that Ahmed joined the Congress in 1931 and later became a part of Nehru's cabinet in 1966. Ahmed was a member of the Rajya Sabha from his ancestral home state Assam and served as Advocate General of the Assam government. In 1974, he was nominated to be the President of India by Indira Gandhi. Since Ahmed enjoyed several senior posts in Congress party and reportedly enjoyed a close friendship with the Nehru Gandhi family, he faced criticism in the face of emergency. Many thought that his closeness with the Nehru Gandhi family is the reason why he signed off on the emergency without asking questions. For The Print, this is Shubhangi Mishra. For more, log on to theprint.in and follow us on our social media handles.